Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another HTV video. And as you guys can see right here, the kickstart of season eight. But more importantly, y'all can see that I'm wearing the color red. And in case you guys don't know, today is indeed Canada Day. So to all my fellow Canadians, man, Happy Canada Day. Hope you guys all have an awesome weekend. Let me know in the comments, what are you guys up to on this special day? I know my fellow Americans, y'all got your date on July 4th, but it's looking like it's gonna be a good weekend for everybody. Let's go ahead, let's hit the My Team button right here, and let's see what this season eight is looking like. Ooh, okay, see, I'm messing with this. Look at the whole gold vibe for season eight. That looks so clean. You got Shaq sitting on his throne, looking like a boss, but you guys know with every new season, we get new packs, and these packs, they're probably the weirdest ones we've ever gotten. I'm not saying they're not fire, they're just funny, and I don't even see them there. Can they please load? There we go. So we got Endgame, Shaq, and Kobe in packs today. Except, um, that's literally the only players that are in packs. So take a look at this, guys. When we go to the 21 box, and when we hit triangle, or sorry, hit triangle here, it's Kobe. It's Shaq. It's Shaq. It's Shaq. And it's Shaq. And then it's Kobe. And then it's more Kobe and Kobe and Kobe. This is the funniest packs that I've ever seen. Now, I will say, when we go back to the top, some of these card arts, they're so clean. Shaq, basically, in every single team that he's been on, has a dark matter. Orlando Magic. Orlando again. This one plays the point guard position. That's gonna be crazy. As we go down, you see you got the end game one. This one looks nasty. They already reduced his weight down to 244 pounds, so he's gonna be able to curry side. And then you've got the 2K13 card art. That is, it's so clean. Shout out to 2K. I'm not saying it's a good looking card art, but to put a throwback in there like that, I will say that's a dub. The things I am loving though is, look at the Supernova Kobe right there, but this right here is my favorite. I love Froby cards every single year, and he honestly needs a bit more love on Dark Matters earlier on in the year, but you know what? I'm happy with it. And then of course you got the end game. He looks fire. He can play point guard. The Invincible, we're gonna forget about that nose now. The regular Invincible Shaq, and then all the other previous cards of the past. You definitely don't wanna pull this one, and you definitely don't wanna pull this one, but it really depends on the odds. They threw David Robinson in here, Rudy Gay, Juwan Howard, who are all these players? Okay, that's super random. So what you're really chasing here is Dark Matters. And the chances of pulling a Dark Matter is the highest it's ever been so far in packs. 28% chance at pulling a Dark Matter. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we're here to spend some money. Now, as always, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We're on that grind to 400K. We're just about to hit 349K, which means we're 1,000 away from 350K. I can't believe how much we've grown in like the last two and a half months. Y'all have been going crazy and honestly, thank you so much for that. We all know the grind don't stop though. 900,000 VC has been secured. Hopefully I don't need 2 million in today's video. That's the goal. If I can pull any of the good Kobe's, I'm not necessarily freaking out about the end game or Shaq, but of course if I get any of the end games, I'm gonna go nuts. There is gonna be a topper in this, which seems like a guaranteed dark matter Shaq or Kobe, but we're not wasting any time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get right into it. It's Canada Day, so you gotta boost the Canadian pack odds. I might have to do a video where I try to pull 100 Dark Matters in a video because y'all hit the like goal on the 50 Dark Matter video, but essentially this looks like it's gonna be Kobe and Shaq and then a bunch of throwback cards. So anybody that's been really looking to collect any cards, now is really your chance. And now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the NBA. This is something we always like to do during our pack openings and uh, yeah, Kevin Durant decided to request a trade. The NBA at this point is completely broken. Now, the reason this annoys me is because his preferred teams were both the number one seeds in the West and the East. Why can't Kevin Durant just go to a weaker team, bro? It's like every time he sees a 60 plus win team lose in the finals, he just starts foaming at the mouth. He saw the Warriors set go, what, 73 and nine, they lost, he went there. Now the Phoenix Suns who had like 65 wins this season, they lost and now he kind of wants to go there. So it's definitely crazy. First dark matter right in the middle. You'd love to see it. Let's flip that bad boy over. What we seeing? Center. 32, that's not, okay, so we can tell by the jersey number whether, it, what is going on right now? Whether it's gonna be the end game shack or the regular, this is looking like the glitched one. Oh, what are we doing? 2K, 
I'm getting a mouthful of Shaq sausage right now. What is this? I don't know what's going on right now, but I'm, I'm reporting this. If there's a way to report this, I am definitely reporting this. I, I didn't need all that in my life, but yeah, obviously if you get Kevin Durant on your team, you're going to be a very happy person because who isn't going to be when they get Kevin Durant? Why do I have a pink diamond shaking? What is going on right now? Huh? Bro, what is going on? This is a Shaq meets pack opening. What? Please get his crotch out of my face, 2K. Huh? No, I gotta back out after this. I'm not gonna deal with this for like half an hour, bro. We're simply just not going to be doing this. Right here, we do get a dark matter, but let me know in the comments, guys. If you had to guess where is Kevin Durant going to end up, where do you think he would go? For me personally, I think it's gonna come down to the Pelicans possibly the Suns, and maybe even Washington. Because I'm looking at teams that not only have the assets, but would still be able to compete if they picked up Kevin Durant, and then hopefully Brooklyn can get enough assets to kind of rebuild their team. Because I'm gonna be honest, if I'm the owner of Brooklyn, and I've been tolerating Kyrie and Kevin Durant this whole time with all the drama and stuff, just for them to leave on me like this, I would be extremely pissed off. I feel so bad for Brooklyn Nets fans, but we keep it going. Oh no, this is gonna be another zoom in. Hold on. Invincible or Endgame? Invincible or Endgame? Oh, it's just the regular one, and here comes the crotch once again. We need to stop this. Oh my goodness, bro. He's not even really packing like that. I'm gonna what? be honest. Yeah, I said it. On to pack number seven, little RJ Barrett. He needs to get an Invincible card. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but... Yeah, man, free agency is officially crazy now. If you guys told me that Kevin Durant and Kyrie would both request a trade three years after the day they got to Brooklyn, I would not have believed you, but here we are, man. Everyone was so scared about Harden, KD, and Kyrie. People were scared about Ben Simmons, KD, and Kyrie, and none of that is coming to fruition. Another Lakers shack. Is it time to get hyped? No, it is not. Just <laughs> more shack. and okay, yeah, let's just... Let's just skip that animation. Now, one person I'm actually super happy for is Nikola Jokic because he went from what? A second round pick overall number like 44. The man was drafted mid Taco Bell commercial. You didn't even get to see him. And now he just got the most expensive contract in NBA history. Like that's really got to show you that anything is possible, man. You got Fred Van Vliet who was undrafted and now he's about to be offered a hundred million. Like everyone is out there collecting a bag. And all I can really say is I'm happy for them. Anyone that hates on anyone collecting money and enjoying stuff, Bruh. you're just weird. Oh my goodness, now we're getting the Celtic meat, bro. Huh? Jeez, that card art does look super fire. Not a fan of Celtic Shaq. He just looks super old and weird, but yeah, man. What's really crazy to me is trying to grasp just how much money these players are making because I looked into Nikola Jokic and he's going to be making 52 plus million a year. That is more money than anybody will ever, ever see in their lives. Definitely more than I'll ever see. Like if I would be happy if I saw 10 million in my lifetime to think that there's people out here making literal generational wealth a year. And I know when we talk about it in terms of contracts, it's easier. But when you think about it in actual dollars, like not just saying 200 million because this player deserves it. It is an insane amount of money. There's Devin Booker. For those of you guys that don't know, he was leaked to be the cover athlete for NBA 2K23. Let me know how y'all feel about that. I was kind of hate on, hating on it at first, but I realized it's really not going to bother me that much. We are not pulling any Kobe Bryants. It's all Shaq. Let's just get all these Shaq meets out of the way, please. There is the Cavaliers one. The fact that it's got that 2K13 card art that we currently cannot see is super fire, but hey, man, I'm messing with it. Of all people to leak the 2K23 cover, it is so funny that it ended up being Shams. That man has really evolved and he can just leak anything at this point. Back to back dark matters though. I see the Shaq 34 jersey. Who's this? Eastern center. That's definitely not gonna be invincible, but it looks like we got one of the Orlando Magic Shaqs. Yeah, we're definitely backing out out of this. I'm so tired of this zoomed in animation. It's a little too much. Now, I will say this, 2K. You can make the regular edition whoever you want. Devin Booker, Jason Tatum. It could have been Fred Van Vliet, and I would have been like, whatever. Just please do not mess up when it comes to the Legend Edition. If there is not an option to get a LeBron and Michael Jordan cover, there is going to be problems. 
I promise you I will never let you guys live that down. This is the one time in a century you get to use the number 23 to its full potential. If you waste it by not using two of the greatest players of all time, then that is simply just an L. But let me know what y'all think about that. It's likely gonna be Jordan though, because I think they already leaked Jordan. But if there isn't a LeBron cover, I'm gonna be mad. Show me something nice. Shooting guard, number eight. Invincible, please be invincible. Please don't be the all-star card. Oh, he's bald. No, that's not a good sign. And it's going to be the all-star card. Oh, that's tragic. Down to the... And it's gonna be that power within check. This is so troll. Okay, little back-to-back -back dark matter action. There's definitely way more Shaqs coming out of packs though than Kobe's. I gotta see some Eastern point guard. What? Oh, we just got the point guard Shaq. Let's go, I love it, I love it. So for those of you guys that don't know, Swish Shaquille O'Neal at that point guard spot. I was so confused. I was like, there's only a Kobe and Shaq who would play point guard, but this guy would. The one card I literally wanted to pull. I mean, obviously I want the end game cards, but that's unrealistic. Y'all have seen how bad my pack luck is. I'm not expecting to pull any of those guys. If I just get the new invincible Shaq and new invincible Kobe, I'll be happy with that. A little dark matter glow here at number nine. Show me something nice. Western shooting guard. Finally, it's a Kobe number eight. I got a bad feeling this is the all-star one. Yep, I see the year because Kobe did not have an Afro in 2003 to 2004. So I think we got to see like 99, 2000 or something for it to be the Froby. But I need a Froby, man. Back to back dark matters. That is what you love to see. I'm giving you another chance, 2K. Come on, man. Western shooting guard number eight. Come on. 2003, 2004. That's going to be the all star card again. Man, the all star one and power within are just flying out of these packs. This is not the vibe. Hey, there we go. A little dark matter on unlucky number 13. Maybe unlucky is my blessing. Let's find out. Come on. Tim Hardaway Jr. looks stunned. Western shooting guard. Number eight, please don't be 0304. No! Oh, man. All right. All right, so it seems like this is an all-star power within pack opening. I didn't realize that I was opening packs from, you know, February, but I guess I'll let it slide. Another back-to-back -back opportunity. Number 14 is usually a lucky number, but uh, y'all have seen that it hasn't exactly worked out for me very well. Number 34, I promise you, this is going to be the power within one. Just watch. I'm not even going to react no matter what it is. Bruh. <laughs> you see that? Power within. Let's keep it moving here, boys. Is that back to back to back? That's the first time I have three-peated on Dark Matters ever. Oh, this has to be a good sign. I see the Lakers logo on the left. 2K gods make it even better with the three-peat. Kobe and Shaq three-peated. Make it good. Wait, oh, 2000, 2001. That has to be good, right? Right? Oh, 
I didn't realize it was the power within. That was like Shaq's prime, bro. You gotta give me the end game at that point. That is so bad. Not really seeing any more dark matters in the rest of this box. It looks like we're gonna have to rely on the topper once again to get a, you know, another all-star or power within card. I literally have no faith in this bonus. I haven't gotten a single good bonus in a while. Eastern at number 36, that's gonna be the weird comic book card art shack. At least on the bright side, he's not zooming in right on me, but that's probably gonna be a fun card. The fact that they made a different dark matter for every theme team kind of helps everyone because I know I hate putting Shaq when he's got a different jersey on a different team. It doesn't look right, but look at all this. A little number three right here. Number three, Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade, Shaq's teammate. I need the invincible Miami Heat, Shaquille O'Neal now. And I see the Lakers playbook. There's the center, number 34. That's probably gonna be power within, so. Let's just stand here and let's not react. The hell are you doing, Ronald? Got another dark matter here at number five. Bless, bless, bless. Honestly, I get more excited to see shooting guard because every time I see Western Center, Lakers, I just know it's gonna be another power within. Bro, this is a power within pack opening. Even on packs where there's 20 different Shaqs and Kobe's, I only pull the worst ones. I literally have the worst pack luck in this whole community. You, you can't even argue that. We're still yet to see a shake on number eight because that is literally Kobe's number. Right there, we get a little zero gravity Aaron Gordon. Number nine, still not seeing anything too nice. So this honestly might be the worst box because the boxes have gotten progressively worse. Getting the point guard Shaq was super cool and all, but I was hoping to walk away with a new Invincible at the least. I mean, I didn't even get any of the new Kobe's. Why do they make Kobe so rare? Hey, this one's the one. Number 13, here we go again. I'm seeing a bunch of Pistons and Celtics logos though, so that's not a good sign, but a moment of silence. Eastern center number 33, that's gonna be the Cavalier. I don't know why, I saw Eastern and automatically assumed point guard Shaq again, but no sir, it's gonna be um the super funny card art. Honestly, I hope they do this for more cards before the end of the year because I wanna have a full set of 2K13 cards. I just wanna confuse somebody that does not play this game at all and make them think that they re-released 2K13 somehow, but let's keep it going, man. Bro, there is no dark matters in these packs. Cade Cunningham, I forgot that was even a card. I remember it was so bad. People were so hyped for Cade, and then it could only play shooting guard and it had like the worst sigs. The jumper was kind of mid. People were not happy about that. And I'm not happy about these pack odds right now. Can I please see a dark matter? Thank you. Number 18, it's got the number eight in it. I gotta see more Kobe's flying out of these packs. Eastern center once again, that's gonna be our fellow Cavalier. Welcome to the team, baby. I really wonder how much most of these cards are going for. Like, it's guaranteed that Kobe is definitely going for more empty than Shaq's right now because y'all have seen the odds. How many Kobe's have we pulled? Like three? And like, we've got like 65 Shaq's. It's, it's quite crazy, but once again, we've got to rely on the topper here. We can only open one more box after this, so I gotta start seeing some blessings. I'm honestly probably just gonna go to MT singles. Number 32, Phoenix Suns. I don't think we've pulled this one before. I gotta see what the card art looks. Oh no, this is the glitched one. We've definitely pulled this. Holographic. We like that. The reason I don't remember is because it was so zoomed in last time. It was all Shaq crotch, no card art. All right, boys, this is the final box of this Kobe Shaq box. And uh, so far, as good of the dark matter odds as there is, most of them are the power within and the freaking all-star Kobe. They definitely did that on purpose, and that is so troll. I'm definitely not a fan of that. Why would you throw in such old cards in here when you juiced up the odds? We all know why, and I, I don't support that personally, but... Let's see if we can luck out, man, because uh, so far it's been a power within all-star pack opening. Number three, Dwayne Wade. Make your teammate come through with an invincible for the boys. Western shooting guard, I like that even more. And it's 0304, so that's probably gonna be the all-star again. I see that bald head. I'm so tired of it, Kobe. I need you to come out here with an afro, man. RIP to the Mamba, but I need the Froby right now. Number four, Scotty Barnes jersey number is number four, and he's a GOAT. Kobe, show me you're the GOAT. Center, 34, probably gonna be the power within, so, uh, like, no. 
Hey, three peat dark matter. Again. This is twice of three peated, but I mean, the dark matters have sucked. They're literally worse than any galaxy opal I would get recently. It's actually really bad. Western, shooting guard, number eight, please. 0304, oh my days. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a fan of the pack odds. I know it's dark matters flying out, but for those of you guys that are more casual players, just because it's a higher gem tier does not necessarily mean it's a higher card. For example, this Chris Boucher pull right here is better than the Dark Matter Kobe that's an all-star, and it's better than the Dark Matter Power Within Shaq. Those were like the first Dark Matters to ever come out, so they have no good SIGs, all their jumpers were on super slow, and it's just not good. Like this Kyle Korver, I guarantee you, is better than Dark Matter All-Star Kobe. So y'all can see how they kind of manipulated it by putting those cards in these packs. It makes it look like dark matters are flying out of here when in reality those dark matters wouldn't be able to compete with the last time we saw pink diamonds in packs so right now would i say open these packs definitely not because all i've been seeing is the same thing over and over again and then when we got this shack i was super confused because i thought it was going to be an evo of the nba 75 card everybody got earlier this year for locking in but they just threw him in packs instead now he's probably going to be a cheap card anyways but i would have made the evo thing an option for people i think it would have been a nice addition to make an evo for a kobe card and a shack card on top of this whole kobe shack weekend but who knows man 2k just needs to hire me at this point and i promise you i will make the best my team of all time but uh for now we keep donating to the ronnie fund lucky number 16 i need something good to happen here please that guy looks stunned western shooting guard number eight i see 0304 yeah no these pack odds are terrible i, I i'm convinced now we got ourselves a diamond coach but nothing good so far i believe this is our final box so now we'll be down to mt singles and maybe we'll pull something out of that but vc man i'm gonna be honest with you guys i am done opening packs with vc and you guys can clip this so you know i am never opening packs with vc again unless it's super packs and i literally have no option if i can open them with mt instead i'm only going with mt because uh at this point it just looks bad to give them money when 2k23 is literally around the corner and this is all i'm pulling so we're gonna start with the kobe Bryant packs right here and the odds are just a little bit lower than the other packs those are 28 percent these are 25 percent but hopefully we can cash out and uh get something nice i'm mainly hunting a kobe bryant because i just want the froby and uh no shake so far so i decided to switch to kobe and shack packs because i opened like 150k in kobe packs and not a single pack was a dark matter i'm really not sure what's going on today but it is not a good look <laughs> It's actually worse to open singles right now than boxes. Nothing is coming out of these. There's our first shake. 25% chance, I think not, but just show me my power within card. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna either be a lot of that 2K13 card, or it's gonna be a lot of power within slash all-star. We still don't really have the 2K13 version of the Kobe. I actually think that one would be super fun to use, but I'm, I'm gonna quick sell the shack, yep. That's what we're doing. I had to sacrifice that Shaq for good pack luck. Give me Kobe Bean Bryant, please. At this point, all we're hunting is number 24 Kobe, not pink diamonds. That's what you love to see, baby. It, it's a guaranteed Kobe, but please do not be who I think it, Hero? Oh yeah, it's definitely the hero one. I forgot that one was in packs. I mean, that's technically way better than the all-star one so i'm not even gonna be mad at that he might be going for a good amount of mt because people do still need to lock this card in if they want that wilt chamberlain come on come on please no oh hold on hold on hold on oh let's go holographic is well i'll take it i'll take it i'll take it i'll take it he is super bald, but that is a nice little switch up. So the singles are starting to wake up and that one was a holographic as well. Now that one's probably gonna be troll if you're pulling it a ton and you're chasing, you know, the end game Kobe or something like that. But that's a dub at the end of the day. Actually, no, the end game Kobe is still number eight. So as long as you get 24, it's gonna be something different. Number eight is the high potential troll because it's either the Froby, the end game or the all-star Kobe. When most times it's, it's gonna be the all-star. Wait, is this another version of the uh, the 2K13 one? Because it looks like he is definitely now flying out of packs for us. 
So before he didn't fly out once, then he flies out twice in like three packs. Makes sense. Bro, <laughs> now I'm literally only getting the 2K13 Kobe. Ask and you shall receive, I guess, man. I would like endgame cards, please. Whoa, do not sell my holographic. What do you think you're doing? So we switched back to the Kobe and Shaq, and uh, first thing that flies out is a galactic Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> I really was hoping to pull an Invincible, and I am not gonna go in for another million MT. We are simply not doing that. The whole vibe of the 2 million VC, it's just not gonna be a thing in July. Because, uh, again, 2K23 is around the corner, and instead of spending money on VC, I'd rather do giveaways to my subscribers. So why spend that much on VC when that could be like two or three extra copies of 2K23 that I can give away to you guys? I need something fire, man. Number eight. Wait, 030, oh wait, no, it's 0304. I was thinking of Shaq. Uh, oh, well, never mind. I'll take the supernova. We are yet to pull that one. I was expecting yet another all-star Kobe, but it looks like all the different Kobe's are flying out of packs. So I think I'm just gonna stick to Kobe packs. Forget the Shaq. Yeah, so at this point, we're about to be under 4 million MT. So the next time we pull a Dark Matter, we're calling it, no matter what it is. And my screen just took a while to open there. This might be a good sign. Or it's gonna be a bust. That's not even a Dark Matter. This is the final one. I don't want some Shrek, hey, now you're an all-star garbage. I want something fire. Number 24, you know what? I will end it off on that note. It just seems like no Invincibles are going to be flying out of packs anytime soon. That is actually one we still have not pulled. I forgot the anniversary one was in packs as well. But uh, yeah, guys, I would actually like to see how much the Invincibles are going for. Because like you guys just saw, I couldn't even pull the alternate version of these Invincible cards. So this is the other Kobe, if I'm not wrong. You guys can see he's going for about 550K. Now he is damn near the same as the other one because like I said, 65 Hall of Fame badges, basically the same stats, but I couldn't pull him. I could not pull the new Shaquille O'Neal, wherever he is. So odds definitely weren't the greatest for us. I do like this card art for this Shaq, but obviously this one just looks way better. We're gonna keep it with the Lakers Shaq, but uh, yeah, man, that is basically going to do it for today. Let me see what these endgame cards are going for. 1.4 million for Shaq, and I know Kobe's gonna be crazy. 2 million, of course. Now, I am gonna be gone for the weekend. I'm probably gonna try to get you guys a gameplay with one of these cards here before I do head out, but until then, I'll probably catch you guys with content on Monday. As always, thank you guys for tuning into another video. If y'all enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, and for you new viewers, sub up on that grind to 400K. Y'all have been going crazy, and I appreciate it a ton. Take care.